Ah, man. I feel like as hockey fans, we all got robbed of something pretty special last night during the game between the Kings and the Ducks. Two goaltenders almost squared off. It was late in the second period. The Ducks are down by a pair of goals, and Vetrano comes into the Kings zone, gets a shot on goal, but Copley makes the save. Now, you're going to see Max Jones in front of the Kings, Nate. He's trying to rough things up, you know, maybe trying to spark his team a little bit. And as Copley's just kind of, you know, admiring the scrum, which is what we normally see goaltenders do, watch what Vetrano does as he joins the party. You see that? Gives Copley a shot out of nowhere to the head. Here it is again from another angle. And Copley's not too happy about it. So Vetrano kind of gets tackled down to the ice. He's got a trio of kings all over him. Mikey Anderson's in there. Phil Noah's in there. The boys were, you know, proudly wearing their Roswell debris helmets again last night. And Copley is on top of everyone. Handing out some good old blocker shots to the ribs. You gotta love those. And finally, Vetrano would get some some help from his mates. Look here, we got Cam Fowler. He's in there just being as polite as possible. Can you please stop that, Mr. Copley? So he's not much help. Now you're going to see Ducks goaltender John Gibson have enough of this. He makes his way to center ice, gets the attention of Copley by slapping his stick off the ice. And as soon as Copley sees him, I, I mean, it's just goal time. He's just looking at Gibson like a big punching bag at this point. He wants someone to take his anger out on. <sighs> But the linesman, of course, gee, they get in there and break up yet another goalie battle that's about to go down. We get robbed. Copley's trying to get at him, but the linesmen are having none of it. They're already telling him to get off the ice. That sucks because both of them seemed like they really wanted to go. Okay, they were dropping their gear on the ice. Gibson even skated past center ice, which is, you know, like the boundary. So yeah, it was pretty close. And I just wish the linesmen sometimes would <laughs> let this stuff slide a little okay geez man let them go we deserve this as hockey fans i mean it was only a couple of weeks ago the nhl was complaining about having like 20 percent less viewers and then you got your zebras breaking up something that could have been extremely epic anyway they stop it from happening there's just a long list of penalties to look at gibson gets one for leaving the crease copley gets one as well for leaving the crease plus a match minor on top of that for you know becoming unglued and you can't really blame him for getting upset I mean, low-key, this whole thing was instigated by Vetrano from this random shot out of nowhere. Now, the final score to this game was 6-3 for the LA Kings. Oh, <laughs> there's a shot right there. Drew Doughty taking a pretty big hit during this game. You could just feel the love between these two teams. But let me know what you thought of all this down in the comment section. Were you as disappointed as I was that Copley and Gibson, you know, didn't get to go at it? I want to hear all about it. And hey, I'll see you next time.